Hi Jean, this is your reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. So before I started this reading, I had decided to pull a few cards for you. I used this um, angel deck and I asked what the main theme for your reading was going to be uh, and what the big messages were going to be for you and this was the first card that came out this is actualization visualization was the second one and serenity was the last one that came out and what these three cards tell me and told me is that you're looking to actualize a vision that you have and a big part of that vision is serenity I feel like you're looking for more peace and serenity in your life and this is a big part of your dream and your vision that you have and you're trying to figure out how you could actualize it in your life and so I spelled out serene vision for your reading that's um that is what I feel your reading is going to be mainly about and so um, I'm excited to see how it all turns out and what other cards come out for you. I'm also going to be doing some channeling and I invited your spirit guides and angels to be here to help you out. Uh, I asked them to answer your questions even though I don't know your questions but so um We'll see um, how it all plays out. I'm, uh, I also want to do some healing work, um, send you some healing energy. Uh, I know I didn't ask you about that, so um, I'm, I'm just going to put out the intention that if you don't want to receive the energy, that it won't go to you. It's completely up to you. If you don't want it, just say, no, I don't want this energy and it'll, it just won't come to you. But if you do, um, it will. So I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, I like to use Terra and Oracle cards for my readings. I feel that they really add to them, but I also like to do channeling work like Abby does. And I also like to do energy work but I send energy a little differently than she does. I, um, I mean, I do see how the energy will help you out, but um, I just do it differently and you'll see how. Um, I like to put all of these um, together into one reading, so I just wanted to let you know how I work um, and how this reading is going to play out. So uh, I feel guided to use this deck. It's the Nature's Whispers Oracle. And I have to say connecting to your energy and getting ready for this reading, I definitely feel like you're really down to earth and like you may feel really deeply connected to nature or that may be how I'm interpreting the energy because like I just get this overall feeling of peace and I do feel that that's what you're looking for so maybe that just goes along with the whole theme of this reading. You're trying to bring more peace and serenity into your life and I also keep seeing like this house um, out in the woods, like a cabin. And uh, this makes me think that you were hoping 
like to retire you're looking forward to it or you are looking forward to maybe getting a house um, somewhere out in nature like on the woods or on the beach somewhere um, and this is a complete symbol to me about finding peace in life, uh, doing things that um, make you happy and going places where you feel peace and just like a place where you can live out your days, you know, in happiness and um, with your family or um, just yourself or someone um, like a soulmate. Um, that's what I keep seeing for you. So I would love to know how you um, um, feel about that or like how that would resonate with you. Okay, so now that I told you that, I'm going to shuffle uh, this deck and I'm asking my spirit guides um, or my soul self to pull the right cards for you. And they're either going to jump out or they're going to flip over. Okay, I'm just um, thinking messages for Jean. Um, these cards can answer some questions she may have or um, just really important messages that um, she may need to hear right now. Sometimes it takes um, a little bit for the oh, for the cards to come out. This is a really earthy deck, and that's how I describe it. it has a lot of nature in it, a lot of butterflies, a lot of plants, um, a lot of nature scenes, and I do feel that that's why uh, I'm really drawn to use this deck for you. channel some messages while holding this. I'm just going to hold it like this. I see myself standing on top of a high mountain. I feel like I'm so high up that I can, like, if I reached up, uh, I could say I'm touching the heavens right now. I'm touching heaven is what I'm hearing. I have this feeling of joy and peace and I also have this feeling of accomplishment, like I've achieved some really big feat or goal. I, I've just accomplished a big goal that I've had for some time and I've achieved it now. So I'm sitting in this energy and feeling of accomplishment and all the feelings that come with it. I 
There's also a really spiritual aspect to this though, to this moment, because of what I heard, I'm touching the heavens. I keep hearing enlightenment, enlightenment. Um, so this is a spiritual accomplishment as well. It's not just a physical accomplishment. It's almost like now that I've achieved this, I'm like closer to the spiritual realms, the spiritual worlds. And I'm getting the feeling that it's like I had to do this in order to get this feeling that I'm touching the heavens right now. And to have this feeling of peace and joy within myself. And this is um, you, this is talking about you. But I'm hearing the message that you don't have to achieve this in order to feel like you are in heaven. Um, there's something about heaven on earth. You can create your heaven on earth. There's a message about feeling this peace Oh, like any time of your life, any time in your life, you can always find this feeling within yourself. You don't necessarily have to achieve things. You don't have to do certain things in order to have this feeling. But there's something within you telling you that you have to do certain things to feel heaven on earth, to um, have the feelings of heaven within yourself. So the big message is like, it's always there. You can always have these feelings of joy and find peace and serenity. It's not about like physical actions um, this is about like the spiritual worlds and the spiritual aspects of life. Let me see if there's like anything else that I can get from this. I just get this sense that like you don't feel like you've achieved heaven on earth you don't feel like you can have this feeling every day and this is a challenge for you it's it's upsetting for you because you wish you could feel this every day of your life um the serenity this peace this heavenly feel it's i keep hearing heavenly heaven heaven heavenly but spirit is telling you that like you could always find that place it's within yourself it's not outside of yourself it's not in physical objects it's it's within yourself that's that's the message that I'm hearing Oh, wow. Okay. Culmination of vision. Um, let's see if we can focus. That's crazy. Um, I'm having uh, premonitions with this reading because before I pulled the actualization card, before I even started this video, I actually thought of that card and it came out and I thought of this card and it came out. So it's um, kind of blowing my mind right now. <laughs> but um, 
like I said, this reading, it's about a vision. You have something that you want in your life and a part of your vision is peace and creating your heaven on earth. And this card says culmination of vision. So that's validating to me that you are definitely trying to actualize it and like culminate this vision into like physical reality. But this feels more spiritual to me, honestly. This is like, um, the culmination of emotions and feelings, like feeling that you are like in this beautiful place in your life and that you feel heaven every day. That's, that's what you are trying to achieve in your life, I feel. This card came out and it flipped over so I saw it, so I'm not going to channel any messages from it. And you know, when I'm looking at this card, I'm really focused on this little fairy reaching out. And it's like you're reaching out for this feeling for this spiritual gift, these um, beautiful emotions. And, but again, it's not like you physically have to reach. It's, it's like reaching within your like heart and soul like within yourself, not like outside of yourself, um, like this fairy is doing. Um, it's, uh, it's just realizing that like wherever you are in your life, you can always find these emotions within your, um, within yourself. Um, and it's not about the situation that like completely creates your happiness and joy and peace it's yourself and like this is a deep message um, coming through for you it's not about the situations it's about yourself that like determines your happiness um, that's, that's what keeps coming up here. Okay. Um, and I'm not channeling messages from the card, but the card, uh, validates what I see. And it adds to, um, the messages that come through. I'm in a hot air balloon and I'm just lifting up, 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 um, up into the sky. There's definitely something about reaching, reaching higher, going beyond limits reaching potential, reaching the heavens. As I lift up into the sky, I feel this excitement like rise up within me. It reminds me of the feeling of having butterflies in my stomach, but it's excitement 
and I'm getting this visual of like um, me or you, uh, I'm seeing a girl and standing in this balloon and I'm seeing this energy. I'm seeing yellow and it's coming up from her feet, like up her legs, up um, like up her belly and like all the way up through her and these are the feelings of joy and excitement and really positive emotions and it's like I'm hearing they're bubbling up they're flowing up as this girl lifts up in this hot air balloon You see, this could have happened if she just stayed on the ground. But she feels like it's because she's moving up in a hot air balloon. It's She feels like this is happening because of her, where she is physically. She's physically standing in this hot air balloon and she's moving up. She's physically moving up. But the message is, if she were to stay on the ground and not have this hot air balloon, she still would be able to feel this bubbly um, excitement, this um, joy, this peace, um, this like fun feeling. Um, Yeah, there's just like a message about like physical things, like the 3D world that we are in versus the spiritual world. Because the spiritual world says that you could feel this anywhere you are in the world. But sometimes our like physical, like logical um, minds tell us that we need stuff. Like we need to be in a hot air balloon to feel this joy. We need this house to be happy um, and content in our lives. We need this soulmate to be happy and like feel loved. But the spiritual tells you that you could feel love every single moment of your day. And it doesn't matter where you are in life it doesn't matter at all it's it's within yourself it's all within yourself and um that's the message that i'm getting from this fresh approach there's a definite peaceful feeling i get from this card looking at it and this definitely makes sense fresh approach in a way it's it's the way you approach these feelings this card is also talking about your beliefs about emotions and feelings if you believe that most good and happy feelings come from the outside worlds uh, and physical objects and things like um, money or a house or even people, then it may be difficult for you to find those feelings and discover them within yourself without having to like have something um, or achieving something. It, um, this reading I feel is going to help you to find a new approach and um, help you to think more about like how you believe you can like feel this way in your life how you can feel like you're in heaven on earth um it's it's about how you can achieve that without having to get like physical objects like how can i feel 
heaven right now, um, in this moment, whenever I need to feel this, whenever I'm feeling unhappy or um, sad or like disappointed about how things are going, um, the message is you can find this. You can find this. And the answer is within yourself. So, I'm going to move these up. Okay, I'm thinking of what cards. Okay. I'm going to use these Rumi Oracle cards. I really like these. So. Have spirit pull some for you. I'm thinking messages for Jean, important messages for her right now or answers to some questions she has. I'm going to put the intention that I'm also going to send you healing energy as I do this. And you could say no thank you or you can accept the energy. Um, it's, it's up to you, completely up to you. And if you don't want to receive the energy the first time you watch this but you want to receive it the second time you watch this, um, you'll still receive the energy. It's always going to be there. For you so okay so sending you energy and also uh, channeling messages from spirit So, I feel like I'm in this oasis, that's how I describe it. It's really sunny, but it's also cool. It's perfect temperature. And I'm hearing birds chirping. It feels tropical. There's this open field in front of me, but I feel and know that there's a forest behind me, a rainforest. And this is reminding me of the movie Madagascar in the scene where the lion and zebra run in that open field. But there's also trees um, around it. And I'm just walking in this open field and I'm feeling the rays of sunshine 
like going towards me. And my skin is sparkling, like in the movie Twilight, where um, Edward, when he's in the sunlight, his skin sparkles. There's something very soothing and comforting with this light, these rays of light coming down. And there's something very peaceful about the birds too. The birds chirping behind me. It's, um, their voices echo and it's very peaceful. I describe this as heaven on earth. Mm. And it's, it's not much, like when you think about it, um, it's not taking much for me to feel this in this scene. I'm just hearing birds chirping and I'm feeling the sunshine and I'm seeing this peaceful view in front of me. Just this open field and these trees. It doesn't take much for me to feel this right here in this moment in time. And I know that when I leave this place, I could take the memory of it with me and I could go back to this place whenever I want. Because it's now, it's now a part of me. It's now with me forever. Even though this physical moment won't last forever, it will last forever within my memories. And I'll, I'll take them with me is what I'm hearing. They're with me always. Hearing the message, this moment is eternal. It's it's never truly gone. It's it's going to stay with me, and that's like a the a precious aspect of every experience that we have. And it could either be precious or it could either be not so precious if it's like a negative experience. But we do carry with us every single happy moment that we've ever lived in our lives. And this could be a message for you to really remember the happy times that you've had. And there's something about memories because like memories they're a spiritual thing they capture precious moments of our lives and they allow us to keep them forever there's something about this it's it's spiritual and then first it was physical but i mean it was spiritual too because you felt this experience within yourself but you also uh, heard like the birds chirping and you felt the sunshine. But now it's a purely spiritual experience that you could have 
um, any moment of the day because now it's a memory and it doesn't matter wherever you are it's always there so there's something important about this um, for you <laughs> this is crazy so <laughs> this is the card oh my gosh look at this sunshine oh my gosh this is blowing my mind right now in this scene I was so focused on the rays of sunshine and there's this card is all about that the dissolving light this came out reversed too so this has a really deep message for you so dissolving dissolving is a message about change changing light so okay if, look, what I'm getting from this is that it's like the big message that I got was even though you're not physically experiencing this moment anymore you still can like in your memories in your thoughts and you could still feel the emotions that you had in that moment and so the message is the light in that moment never truly vanishes and never truly it dissolves it just changes is into something different into a different experience you experience that same moment in a different way now but it's still there and still with you the light never really goes away it just takes on a different form that you could carry with you every day in your whole life And it's interesting because in this card you could see you could see that there's different beings here here's a being i'm just gonna say light being and then here's another one and um like a smaller light being here so this has a message about transformation and something changing so here's the light of that moment of that experience and it's like transforming um, into something different, into a memory instead of a physical experience. It turns into something spiritual. That is what, that is um, all I um, am getting from that card right now. Okay. The energy is still going to you, the healing energy, and as I'm going to channel this card and um, spirit messages. <laughs> so you know, this is making me think of the movie Coraline. And I feel like I'm in this dingy house right now. And everything looks gray to me. It has this gloomy feel to it. And I'm focusing on this faucet in the sink in this kitchen and i just keep hearing water droplets it's like bloop 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 just water droplets just keep dropping and making this sound that's all i could hear in this place and it's empty there's no furniture there's no rugs it's just the structure of the house And I feel disappointed. 
I know that this house can be so much more than it is right now. I could see it for what it can be. I could see it for the light that it is. She has this vision. She has this vision of this house, but it's not the same as what it looks like right now, which is gloomy and gray and empty. If I stay in the physical aspect of this house, and just see it for what it is right now. It can never become its beautiful potential. If I stay in the physical aspect, just seeing it for what it is now. This, this has a message about visions in dreams and the imagination. This girl can see this place with furniture. She could see this place with a family. She could see this place with these beautiful yellow cabinets and beautiful granite tops. She could see it with a working sink that doesn't drip um, and leak water. And she knows with this vision, it can eventually become that. She knows the power of her vision. But if she just thought, oh, this place is going to be like this, it's going to stay gloomy and empty forever because that's what it looks like right now then it would stay that way. Um, it wouldn't change. So there's a message about the power of imagination and vision. It's, it's the power of the spiritual. It has power with the physical world. Okay, so the physical world without imagination and visualization and vision, it would stay the same. Most of it, at least. Like, I mean, nature would still take place and happen and all that, but things, like most things would just stay the same because we wouldn't be able to see how it could be different, you know? But I'm getting like at the same time, like even though it can make beauty in the world, it could also create like havoc and like disappointment because you know what it could be, you know, because you can't accept the this house the way it is right now because you could see what it can be. So it's, um, there's something about like, you, the vision can even, like, it can help you or it could hurt you. How are you going to use your vision? And you can see this beautiful vision of this house and what it can become. And you could feel joy about that because you are excited to see it um, when it turns out that way. But you could also sit with this vision and feel sorrow and disappointment and sadness because it's not that yet. So it's, it's how you want to use that vision and how you want to feel about it, the emotional feeling that it uh, brings. 
and there's a message if the vision makes you sad then you could change the vision too a vision that makes you happy rather than sad that's that's what i'm getting um from this that's what's so i just went into deep thought about what i just channeled and i came up with something so i thought about when like well how you could think about a positive memory from your past and even though it's a happy memory it could still make you sad because you're not experiencing it physically right now and how you could also think about a vision of something that you'd like to have you have this future vision and it's so happy that it makes you sad because of the situation in the present moment that you're in right now so the question is how can you find happiness in the present moment right now how can i accept and find joy and happiness in my current situation and the answer that i came up with is first you could accept uh, first you could accept where you are at right now and then you could choose to see something special and beautiful in the situation in the present moment also you can come up with something that could bring life and light into your situation so where i was seeing with this dingy gray empty house what you can do to bring life and light into this place right now is you can choose to go to the store and choose to buy some beautiful flowers and you can come back and you can put them in this pretty vase and display them on the kitchen maybe next to the faucet that doesn't work and is kind of annoying you because of the sound of the leaking water constantly and you can choose to see that as beautiful and you could see the light you know like this house is so gray but now with these flowers it's it has this beauty to it because all you focus on now is the flowers in the place because the colors are just so bright vibrant against the gray color of this whole house and i also thought about how you could just invite a friend over and you could set up a tent and uh, you could read stories or books to each other uh, with a flashlight <laughs> you can tell each other scary stories uh, i was seeing these two kids uh, just this girl and this boy in this tent and uh, they're just in their own world in this like empty house but and with uh their joy inside of the house it's not empty anymore because they're enjoying it now like they're in this tent and they've created this like beautiful comfortable environment for them even though they never change the house you know so i feel like the answer is the perspective what can you do now to feel happiness and again it doesn't 
have to be something physical, but if it's hard for you to find that peace on earth within yourself, then you could find peace on earth with in physical objects and activities that you could do that can bring light and love and happiness into your life right now. Something that you don't have to wait for and seem so far away, you know? Because sometimes our visions, they're, um, they're visions that we believe will happen like 20 years or 10 years from now. And it can make you sad because you have to wait for it, you know? What is something you don't have to wait for that you could have right now, you know? That could bring you joy. What can you do right now in the present moment? And that's a, a huge message for you. This card definitely makes sense to what I just channeled. I surge on the uprising wave of love. I mean, it's like, what waves can you create in your life right now that bring love, you know? Um, It's, um, yeah, it's, I'm getting the message that you can actively create positive experiences in your life and actively, like, feel positive emotions, too, with certain things that you could do, and you could feel the love and beauty within your life if you choose to, if you choose to see it. Um, if you choose to see the possibilities that are there for you right now and possibilities that you don't have to wait for. Yes, there's definitely something about that. Actions you could take right now um, that bring you happiness. I'm interested in what message this card has in the book, what it says. I'm going to skim through and see if there's any messages that jump out at me. So there's a quote for each card in this deck and it says, my life can be summed up in three accounts. I was raw, I was cooked, and I was burned. I surge on the uprising wave of love. No gravity can stop me from rising. The moon pulls the tide of life towards her, and my soul in oneness with all of life answers her call. A wave of love consumes me, and upwards I fly, flying through water to greet her shining body. Led by my heart, my wits are addled, and my mind becomes a blurry mess. And so I feel instead, feel the truth of her love and the divine reflection she shines back at me from her radiant heart. So, it's interesting because it says no gravity can stop me from rising. No situation can stop me. No physical thing can stop me from rising in my life and from feeling the joy that I deserve. Uh, my heaven on earth. <clears throat> Greater forces of planetary movements affect us all. We experience day and night through the interplay of the earth, sun, and moon. This is a profound and obvious effect. 
The movements of the cosmos affect us deeply, body and soul. Some movements are perhaps less obvious in form, but are just as great, if not more so, an effect upon our spiritual growth and life experiences. You are going through a cycle, or very soon will be, by which you will be moved by forces greater than your own personal will. This is a karmic period, a time during which the movements of greater planetary bodies will have an impact upon the earth and humanity. This is the way of things, greater cycles affecting smaller ones. The smaller ones are not less important, but they do have to bow to the power of the great, in oneness with a magnificent unfolding divinity that is life itself. I'm gonna skim for it. Why seek to impose a smaller and less interesting story upon life when the great master storyteller is weaving a fantastic tale of great love, great adventure, and sublime spiritual success? No, it is wiser, wilder, and more fun to surf the great wave of consciousness seeking to overtake you now. And dive in, beloved surge with it you are being given a gift of grace in this oracle the promise that you won't drown and that you will in fact be given a glimpse of your own divinity should you choose to accept whatever will be offered to you don't try to swim against the tide of your own life journey go with it the divine is there waiting for you orchestrating waves upon which you may reach the heavenly shore heavenly shore <laughs> heaven on earth yes the divine is there waiting for you waiting on a picnic blanket a fabric of the heavens oh well with a sacred feast of earthly bounty just now being unpacked in your honor get yourself into that ocean and ride those waves to your sacred date with the divine right now oh with the divine right now sweet beloved surfs up this oracle comes with a message for you. There are changes happening and they will be out of your control. This is because you are ready for accelerated life change. Rather than paddling, you'll be caught up in a wave and moved further faster. Let yourself surge on with the energy of what is happening, leading with your heart and just going with whatever unfolds. This will bring you the best fortune and open you up to the divine destiny that is your birthright this lifetime. So this card is definitely saying that whatever your vision is that makes you so happy when thinking about it and makes you sad because you don't have it yet, it's, it will be there for you and you will end up there in that place. But it's also saying to find that love and that joy right now too and accept the situations that you go through because they're leading you to that heaven on earth in that vision that you have for yourself. Just know and accept that the changes in whatever you are going through right now is leading you to that place, uh, that divine destiny that this uh, book is talking about. So that's that for that card. Okay. okay, sending you healing energy. And I'm gonna start channeling more messages from the spirit. I'm on a beach and the rocks are all like similar colors. They're black and white and gray. And I'm 
I'm walking on this beach and I'm searching for something. I'm searching for one blue rock. I'm searching for some color. It doesn't have to be blue, it could be any color. I just want to see something of beauty here in this place. She doesn't feel like the gray, white, and black rocks are very beautiful because they aren't very colorful. She's searching for a rock that is very hard to find in this place. See my eyes like itching. <laughs> I hear it's like finding a needle in the haystack. That's what the situation feels like for me. It's like I'm searching for something and it feels like I'm never going to find it because I feel like it's buried deep somewhere and I have to work to find it. I need to search this entire beach to find it. And oh no, what if it was carried back into the ocean? by the tide. What if it's not even here? What if I never find it? This is this girl's thought process when searching for this rock. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I need to find it. I don't want to be stuck with these gray, black, and white rocks I need. I need this rock in my hand. I need to see it for myself. And it's almost like someone told her one day that they visited this beach and they came across this beautiful yellow rock and just sitting there for them. It felt like and it was so special and it brought them a lot of joy and so this girl she went to the same beach and she was hoping to find a rock sitting there for her as well but she's upset that she has to search and she feels like she has to dig for this special rock for her she feels like it's unfair. This is unfair. Why was she able to find a rock? But I'm not. There is definitely something about comparing your life to other people's lives. And this is upsetting to you sometimes because it, it may be easy for others, like you feel that others have easier lives than you do, and this upsets you, and you wish that it could be the same for you. But it, I feel a deep message is coming through for you with this. Once you find that rock, It's, it's going to be like 10 times more special for you because you actually had to dig. I'm seeing this girl like she's got this shovel and she's like digging this like huge hole trying to find this rock. And uh, I see her sitting down and meditating on it. Um, she's got her pendulum and she's got this map, she's asking it, where is the crystal? Uh, point to the place where it is. Uh, and so it does, it points to a place and she digs and she searches in that area, but she doesn't find it. Um, she prays, she prays to find this rock. Angels, where is it? 
give me a sign where is this rock when will i find it where is it and it feels like she doesn't get a direct answer um from the angels or whoever she's talking to um and she's frustrated why can't it be today why can't i find this rock today I deserve it, don't I? But there's a message once she finds it after all the days that she spent searching for it it's that much more special to her because she took the time, you know? Um, it wasn't handed to her she had to work for it and she had to become creative to find it and in the process she learned more about herself and she learned about her strength and her perseverance because she never gave up. I see I see her like going walking up to this big rock and she just, she gets this feeling to lift it up, to pick it up. And she sees this beautiful blue crystal, it's like aquamarine. Uh, she sees it there um, and it looks so bright and shiny. Uh, she's been dreaming about this rock for so long. She almost can't believe that she's finally found it. She picks it up and she really admires it and she's happy that she didn't give up and she put in the time to find it. And she actually is thankful for the whole experience that she's just had. It almost forced her to talk to the angels and it forced her to learn how to dig a big hole you know um it forced her to go within for the answers and the strength that she needed to keep pushing forward and to not give up and she's going to carry that with her for her entire life. So that's the big message. Okay, so let's see what this card is. The lion and the deer. I'm pretty... It's cool because when I was channeling, I saw you and then someone else. Um, and this card says the lion and the deer. So it's comparing um, two different animals, um, comparing, um, well, it goes along with the message of you comparing your life to other people's lives and like yourself and other people. But I feel like it's more with situations in other people's lives um, that this message has for you. It's like the lion and the deer. Um, I mean, Usually they wouldn't be friends, but I know there's a story out there where a lion becomes friends with a deer and like there's a message about differences um, somehow bringing you together with others 
uh, you having these experiences, um, like a similar experience that I just saw with you digging for the crystal on a beach, um, that can actually bring you closer with other people because maybe they've had similar experiences that you've had. So those experiences can not only help you connect more with yourself and to learn really good precious lessons for yourself, but it can also bring you closer to other people because maybe you could better understand them because of it. And I also noticed this card is very colorful. It's got these really deep blues in it and the message was about searching for a blue crystal so I think um, it's cool that there's some really vibrant blues in this card. That's, that's all I'm getting from this card. So I'm going to pull one more card for this reading to hopefully wrap up this reading. Um, I'm asking that this card has a message that sums up everything that I've just told you and bring you some clarity or a um, great message that would be good for you to hear. Just gonna start shuffling. send you some more healing um, and see if there's some messages that I could get while I do this. I'm seeing this X, this black X, and I just keep seeing it almost like it's being painted with a paintbrush a line line x x x x this is about a destination that you'd like to find or to experience it's it's the x over a treasure treasure chest on a map is what i'm hearing it's it's symbolizing that. What's your treasure? What are you trying to find in your life? You will end up in that place, in that vision, that destination that you've been dreaming of. But now I'm seeing like a bunch of X's. It's like a path of X's. <laughs> that sounds like I'm talking about like relationship X's, but I'm not. Um, I'm just seeing the sandy beach now with like palm trees on the side and then this like sandy beach and ocean. Um, and I'm seeing like marked X's in the sand and this girl is like uh, following in the path but there's a message about like discovering treasures on the way to like the greatest treasure of your life it's about uh, creating more treasure chests for yourself for you to come across because 
maybe your vision that you have right now it's it almost feels unreachable for you because it feels so far away and different from your current situation so there's a message about having like making smaller visions maybe that you can get to sooner than the greatest treasure of your life um there is something about that so like on your journey to that place you still find treasures you know um along the entire journey there's treasures in your pre present moment but there's also treasures that are you are going to come across uh the next week the next month the next year the year after that uh, the entire journey you know um, and seeing them as treasures along your path as well. Yeah. I'm going to ask what the energy, um, healing energy is doing. seeing like a bunch of silk um it's not like clothes but i'm just gonna say it looks like scarves a bunch of different colored scarves and they're like moving um almost like um like they'd move when it's really windy outside they're um they're like flowing through with the air and there's all different kinds of colored scarves silk scarves that are very pretty there's some very like deep colored scarves i'm seeing like a deep purple but i'm also seeing very pale scarves pale pinks um pale um well not pale but um deep magentas as well I'm seeing some bright yellow scarves. But as I touch this, um, these scarves, um, my hand goes through them. I don't feel anything physical. This is energy. Um, and it's like wrapping around you. It's um, all around you, these beautiful um flowing colors they're like waves of colors it's i'm hearing this energy is helping you to see the beauty in many things many different colors many different experiences in your life no matter what the color Yeah, I'm just getting this energy of acceptance, of peace. And you're admiring the colors, the colorful energy around you. You're accepting each and every color's beauty each and every experience's beauty and treasure that it has for you. That's all I'm getting. So let's see what Carlos says. Surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. 
Hmm. I feel like this is talking more about your approach to life experiences because it says be yielding not rigid so accepting experiences for what they are um, this will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships but it can also improve your life and how you feel and there's also the word surrender here so uh, there's a message about just like surrendering to the experience and the moment I want to pull a few more cards Actually, I'm going to show this card to you. It's of a beach. <laughs> uh, I don't necessarily feel that like this came out because um, it has like a deep message for you, but I feel like it's validating that I've been seeing beaches. Because there's like this beach and you know, it's kind of gray and gloomy. Um, there's like a lot of, there's a lot of black and gray and white. So it's, it's a big validation, but I'll read to you what it says. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. Well, you know, it does actually have a deep message for you. Um, about finding happiness and peace within yourself, um, within silence, silent meditation and contemplation, silence can heal and replenish you. Yeah, that's definitely true. Okay. Pull one more from this deck. interesting there's something about other people coming through because this is a relationship card and this one is also talking about relationships so there might actually be some relationships in your life too that may not be so pleasant this one says let go of relationships that don't serve you including unavailable or toxic people you deserve to be treasured by others and to and to be surrounded by positive people. It has the word treasured in this. Um, hmm. So definitely something about relationships. Um, this one also has a picture of the ocean. So that could also be validating what I was seeing. And it has the word treasured, treasure. So that could be validating you discovering treasures along your journey. Okay. I'm gonna pull like one last card. This is the final card um, from this deck. So like final message for Jean. Okay, 
Celestial Guardian. This is telling you that you were definitely being guided by spirit. This card also has a picture of the earth. So they're guiding you through your journey, definitely. Um, and your spirit guides and guardian angels could be also validating that they are here um, right now, um, helping with this reading. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm about moving forward. Um, you, this did come out reverse, so it could be saying that you haven't been feeling that enthusiastic about um, things in your life. Um, enthusiastic about moving forward, possibly because you feel that your vision may be like far away and it's upsetting to you to think about it a whole lot um but um this reading may give you some enthusiasm um to move forward freedom I'm always so happy when this card comes out. Always gives me such a positive feeling. So, freedom. Having, like the feeling of freedom, knowing that you can make choices that can lead you to that treasure the destination where that beautiful treasure chest is. Um, you may be feeling kind of like stuck in your situation or not feeling as free as you'd like to. Um, you may be wanting, yeah, like a lot more freedom in your life. Um, yeah. Okay. And grace. Flowing through life with grace and seeing beauty in many different situations and experiences and being in that accepting place seeing the positive it's definitely a beautiful card to get so I'm going to end the reading with that. Thank you so much, Jean, again, for allowing me to do this reading for you. I hope you find some really good and healing messages in this reading, and I hope it resonates for you. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day or afternoon or evening, whatever it is. Bye.